vlog in the car but I don't expect to spend as much time in the car today as I did on my last vlog. Hey, I'm going to get this one. <clears throat> Thank you for your lovely comments on that. I've had quite a few of you send me um, messages already uh, saying that you're glad he's home and that you got emotional when um, you saw Arnie and Carl back together. Hmm. People getting emotional at your reunion. Really? <laughs> um, it was really lovely. He was so excited. And to be honest, Arnie still is very excited. He's been a little bit more whiny since Carl's been back every time every time Carl leaves the room he starts crying it's like he thinks Carl's going somewhere again he doesn't he used want to do him that. to not quite <laughs> but um today we are off to the Oracle which is the shopping center in Reading um because well we both need new phones don't we I don't need one I'm doing upgrade so Carl's doing upgrade I am well overdue an upgrade I don't like changing my phone all the time because there's nothing wrong with it um but I must be at least a year overdue an upgrade um I've just got the iPhone 7 but you're on, you're on 13 now I know I know I'm I'm not really somebody who needs <laughs> like the latest technology so I just stick if it's working then that's fine but it's getting to the point now where it's not doing what I want it to because my storage is full and it's really irritating and I need a new phone <laughs> so that's what we're off to do this morning in Reading then later on this afternoon we are going out for a nice lunch like a Christmas lunch aren't we mm -hmm. um so I thought I would vlog today, seeing as we're actually doing something, because other days I'm just doing work bits and I don't think you'll find that very exciting. So bringing you along with us today, it's nice to have the two of us back together in a video. Isn't it? You missed this? Yeah. <laughs> but got my morning smoothie. <laughs> Um, and we're on the, our way there now. I'm just enjoying being a passenger again, to be honest. We're in my car, but Carl's driving. It's like a real treat to not have to drive yeah, or concentrate. You know your way to the shopping centre, which I don't believe. Well, I know my way to the shopping centre. Like a pigeon. <laughs> I know my way to the shopping centre, but I don't go there much, like, as much as I used to when I was younger. I don't go to the shops as much because I mean, I do on, I do on, I, it's not, doesn't mean I don't shop. I know you do it all online. I just do it online. <laughs> oh, you have 5,000 cardboard boxes outside the house. That's Tropic. Oh, yeah. That, that it's not 5,000. Oh, yeah, 4,000. Maybe five. But um, yeah, our, our cardboard recycling fills up pretty quick. <laughs> and actually, I'm due a Tropic order today as well. It's not for me though, it's for everybody else. I have lots of Tropic already. <clears throat> I know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, off to get a new phone, show you what I get. Because I, what is it, the 13 you said? That's I think it's 13 when I walk in, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know which one I get and take you along and see what we have for lunch because I'm looking forward to the lunch in particular. Getting a new phone kind of stresses me out because I've had a bad experience with transferring everything from my old phone to my new phone before. So that's probably another reason I don't get a new phone as often as I can. So yeah, we'll see. But I've got this one with me to do the technology bit because I'm rubbish with that sort of stuff. So he's going to make it a seamless <laughs> transition. It's like the blind lead the blind. <laughs> no, you, this is your department. It's going to be seamless, right? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> So we got here for when the shops were opening, but guess what? They're not open. <laughs> it's what time is it? Five past nine? Yeah, I thought they opened at nine. What time does this shop open? It doesn't say. Well, they're not open. Lazy, None, of them are open. Get out of bed. <laughs> None of them are open. None of them are open. H&M was open. I said yeah. we should go in H&M. Oh, the Hollister's open. I need a torch to it now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they're pretty much all shut. Let's go see if the phone There's shop is open. Well, well maybe they don't open until well, 10 Boris now. Boris last night. <laughs> <laughs> can't be 10 o'clock on a, mid, on a weekday. I don't know. Is it weekday? 
What day is it? Thursday, yeah. Thursday. So we've come into Primark because this is open whilst the other shop while we wait for the other shops that we need to open. And look what we found. Oh, look at this Christmas tree. We can literally dress them up as a Christmas tree. <laughs> Oh look, it's the Grinch pet toy. What's that one? Is that his dog? Oh, of course it is. <laughs> look, Carl, you could make Arnie a pet. You could bake him a pet treat. Oh look, a frisbee. Looking at the Christmas pajamas for us as well. But they've got a lot of they've got a lot of Disney Disney ones. They've got so many gift sets and everything. It literally goes right down there. But we're kind of hung up on all the pet stuff. <gasps> the Grinch outfit. Arnie's not a Grinch though, is he? He's definitely not a Grinch. He's a happy, happy dog. He's a happy, 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 happy dog. Aww. We're just coming to Costa to get Carl a coffee and he's grabbed himself a toastie as well. So we've only got five minutes until the phone shop's open so we can go there in a second, but I've got to fuel him with caffeine first. You okay? I'm just waiting for it. We didn't get anything from the right mark in the end, did we? We've got some really good gifts, Please, yeah. some really nice Christmas mugs. Um, but their variety of Christmas pyjamas was the best. But I love that Christmas tree jump on for Arnie, but Arnie already has his Christmas day jumper, which I will show you probably in another vlog. So we've just got home to this little man. Can you say hello? You're gonna say hello, Arnie? Arnie, what's this? You say hello. <laughs> he is never without this bone in his mouth. Are you? Are you? Oh, you want your belly, you want your belly rubbed? You want your belly rubbed? <laughs> you spoiled pup. Oh, he loves his daddy, don't you? <laughs> Where's daddy? There he is. <laughs> Literally hasn't left Carl's side since Carl got home. Have you, look at you. So I thought I'd just show you what we got from town because I've got a few little bits. First of all, not very exciting, but I've got a new hairbrush because I was brushing my hair the other day and the handle just snapped off. Now I've got thick hair, but yes, and it <laughs> you wish. Um, but and when I'm out in the wind and stuff and obviously walking Arnie it does get a bit knotty but never enough to break a brush but I was literally just brushing it and the handle snapped off so I got a new one I really like oh I really like these wet brushes um because they're good with thick hair good with knotty hair it says 45% less breakage less 55% less effort not if your handle breaks off but I have had it for quite a long time and 100% happier hair so that's what I got. They are a bit pricey. It was like 13 pounds, I think, but it lasts me a long time. And then, Carl's gonna set this up for me in a minute because this is a bit of getting a new phone that I really don't like. I got the iPhone 13. I got it in the blue. Unfortunately, they only had red or blue. Um, and I didn't want a bright red phone. So I went for the blue. They did like a light pink, but obviously they didn't have that in stock. So I just went for the blue. And anyway, I always use a phone case, so you won't be able to see the blue bit anyway. Um, but I'll have to get a new 
This bit is just where my pop socket broke off, but a new Tropic phone case. So I'll be going online and looking for one of those soon. Um, so Carl is gonna set that up for me. Carl also got a new phone. I don't even know what phone he got actually, but I went, I went off to Zara because I needed a few basic like t-shirts. In fact, this t-shirt that I've got on today is just a basic, it's like 6 99 from Zara. And I really, really like it just for wearing around the house, um, just with jeans and yeah. So I got a few more colors of those, which I'll show you in a minute. But what phone did Carl get? Oh, Carl got a new protective phone case. And the phone that Carl got is a Samsung, he's a Samsung guy, Samsung guy. I'm a iPhone kind of gal. Um, he got the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. But don't know what that looks like or anything, but that's what he got. And then I'm gonna rest you down somewhere because my arm is starting to ache. I still have my coat on because the heating isn't on. So not ready to take this off just yet. Sorry that it chops my head off. I will crouch down. But I'm just gonna show you quickly what I picked up from Zara. Um, so I got a few basics, um, like I said. I picked up this bodysuit. I love, as you can tell, I love a bit of green. Green looks good on redheads. So I picked up this long sleeve. I have quite a few bodysuits, well I have a few bodysuits, but they're all sleeveless and it's cold. So I need sleeves at this time of year. So I picked up a nice green one and it's like this ribbed material. So I picked up one of those. And then I picked up this t-shirt. Let me take my coat off and show you it properly. But I picked up this t-shirt um, in a few other colors because I like it so much. And it's quite cheap and the material is really nice. I wear a medium um, and it's a little bit loose here, which I actually quite like. Um, and I picked one up exactly the same in black, white, and like this beigey nudie color, depending on like what color jeans I'm wearing or like joggers. I wore this with joggers yesterday, actually just around the house. Um, and then I also picked up a black long sleeved bodysuit. Again, it's kind of ribbed. It's a little bit different to the green one because the green one has like a scooped neck, whereas this one is a high neck. Um, and I also got that exact same bodysuit in this like creamy, like off white color as well. Um, they also had this in brown, which I was tempted by, but I didn't get it. Um, and they had like a darker like beige color of this as well which i was also tempted by but i didn't get it so that is everything that we picked up from town now what we're going to do is well what carl's going to do is set up my phone and his phone um and then we're going to go out for lunch we're having like a late lunch so it's midday now um and our lunch is booked we're going out for lunch at half past two so we were thinking that it will be like a lunch and dinner because I intend to have quite a lot of food, I'm not gonna lie. I am gonna have a main and a dessert and we're debating whether to get like a sharing camera because I know the menu of the place we're going to already. Um, I'm debating whether to get like a sharing camembert to start or whether that's being, my eyes are too big for my belly, but either way, we're gonna have a lot of food. So it would be like lunch and dinner. And I just noticed then my new nails. Um, I know I've shared this on my Instagram, but let me show you. I did my nails like a more, even more Christmassy sort of pattern and stuff yesterday. I'm loving French tips at the moment. And I went for the French tips in red, like a red sparkly color. I can't remember what the color is called, but it's from the gel bottle. It's one of their new glittery reds from their new collection that's just come out. The silver at the bottom, I did on a client's nails the other day, but she had gold at the bottom of her nails and I really, really liked it. So I did that on mine as well. And I went for the new sparkly 
um i think it's called blinding lights the sil the sparkly silver one again from the gel bottles new collection and then i tried something a little bit different that i haven't done before um and i went for a snowflake in shade daisy from the gel bottle on my ring finger and i think it looks really nice a subtle nod to christmas i'm definitely not one for loads of nail art i mean i i can admire them the talent they look amazing but for me on my own nails i like quite simple so as far as nail art goes i think on one finger is as much as as i like because i'm the sort of person that gets bored quite quickly with anything too blingy or too detailed i think oh it looks lovely for a couple of days and then i'm like it doesn't go with every outfit or i'm just like i've had enough of it now and i want something a bit more simple so for me simple is key um, and I actually really like it and I think sometimes simple is the best way but we are pretty much in mid-December now so we're ramping up the Christmasiness of the nails and I love this so a quick outfit change um, we've just been chilling out well we've not we've not we've been setting up my new iPhone <laughs> and as predicted it's not as smooth sailing as you said you could you expect just it to transfer be. everything all from iPhone to iPhone, but you can't. Yeah, it doesn't quite work. It, it transfers half of it, and then you've got to do the rest yourself. But we've got there, and I'm now figuring out how to use my new phone. Like I just tried to screenshot a discount QR code that I've got for this pub, and I was like, how do I screenshot on my new phone? Because it doesn't have the little button at the bottom like my old iPhone 7 has. Oh, sorry. Clear. Um, so we just had to Google how to screenshot on an iPhone 13. <laughs> Makes me feel like such an old couple. Um, but we are off to lunch. I just put on, I swapped my little green t-shirt for another green top. One of the green bodysuits that I bought from Zara today. And then I've just paired it with some flared um, trousers that are actually from Zara as well. But they're old, um, old ones. Um, and I've refreshed my makeup just put a little powder a bit of the soft focus powder on my t-zone because that's where i get shiny and i've put on flirt lip liner and pink guava lip fudge um it's only lunchtime, so i thought i'd go a little bit more casual rather than full-on christmasy lip but um i was saying to carl i always find it hard to find the nice a nice balance between smart and dressed up but casual at the same time because i'm either you know that meme where it's like you either look like a homeless person or you're mm. like full on dressed up that is me i'm one or the other so yeah carl's looking all handsome aren't you, you brush up all right <laughs> and oh for hand pulling out um but i'm so ready for some food what are you fancying for your lunch today I don't fancy steak or not. Steak. I think so. I never, even when I or, ate meat, I never fancied or steak. The beef Wellington. With fancy, all the trimmings. Fancy. Did they have it? Um. Would you know? No, I don't think they do. So we're actually going to the pub that I work in. Um, because I've been taking food out the last couple of shifts I've done and they've got their Christmas menu of course now as well and I'm just like oh my gosh we need to come here and I get 50% off <laughs> throughout December so why not <laughs> um but I've been uh, eyeing up the nut roast and they have the nicest I've got hair in my mouth the nicest gingerbread cheesecake I'm not usually a cheesecake lover as well I love desserts and I have the biggest sweet tooth don't I you do but cheesecake is just one of those things that I would never choose off a menu, but this gingerbread cheesecake is, oh, it is the best. So it's gonna be a decision whether I go for my trusty brownie or whether I go for a gingerbread cheesecake. Well, you already said you'll get the cheesecake and I've got to get the brownie so you can have some of that. Have I? You did say that. You can have what you like, darling. As long as it's a brownie. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're just off to there now and have a nice cozy lunch because actually the, the pub that I work in that we're going to now, they have their fireplaces on, they've got Christmas trees up 
and we're here. That is how close it is to our house. I've literally started vlogging the second we left the house and we're here. now oh that dinner we are so full but it was so so good the portions are so big though could not finish my nut roast i mean i finished the actual nut roast but like the potatoes and stuff oh so much food but so good i did finish my gingerbread cheesecake however um <laughs> i never leave a dessert it's very unheard of if i leave any dessert but you're probably wondering why I'm now sat in my office. If you recognise this as my office, then you would be correct. Um, but I came home to a Tropic delivery. So I thought I would just bag this up because I think I'm going to get into some comfies in a minute. Um, and we're going to take Arnie for a bit of a walk. Because although it's pitch black outside, it is only ten past five. Um... So yeah, we're gonna take Arnie for a bit of a leg stretch and I thought I could deliver some of my Tropic orders to customers at the same time. And I thought I would unbox it all with you. Show you what people have been ordering. So first of all, if you weren't aware, when you order from Tropic, if you spend 60 pounds or more, you do receive a free Glow magazine and at the moment, obviously leading up to Christmas, you get a free luxury gift guide as well. So yeah, order £60 or more. You can opt You can opt out of getting one. So if you already have one um, and don't want another one, or if you thought, oh, actually, I know a friend that would really like Tropic, um, then you could opt in and give it to them. So that's really good. And then I have a couple of the festive collections that people have been loving. The first one, oh, um, and actually these have, have started to go out of stock this last week. The Touch of Magic, so like if you saw my Tropic video where I shared all of the festive collections with you when they were launched back in September, my favourite one was the Touch of Magic with the glittery nail nectar, I've got one here, where it's like a snow globe. <laughs> Oh no, that's not even the snow globe one. <laughs> that's the old one with the flowers in it. Um, this one is the snow globe one with like the glitter in it. Can you see, can you make that out? See the bits of glitter in there. It's really good because the glitter actually doesn't come out on your hands. It just looks really pretty in the bottle. Well, anyway, I don't know why I'm showing it to you because it's sold out. <laughs> Um, yeah, the touch of magic with the nail, the glittery nail nectar, the hand cream, and the what else did it come with? The nail nectar, the hand cream, and the hand scrub. That one has sold out. But what is really good at the moment, and actually, when you see this video, the offer will still be live as long as the minis are still in stock but Tropic are currently doing an offer where if you spend £60 or more on the festive collections so you have to buy the festive collections for the full £60 but they are giving away two free minis with each order so you get a mini skin dream which is Tropic's night cream and a mini unscented skin feast which is our normal daily moisturiser and the unscented is particularly good for people with sensitive skin. Um, I mean, it's good for anybody. Um, I think that's why they're giving, probably giving away the unscented so that anybody um, it's suitable for. So you get both of those with any orders, £60 or more, where you specifically spend £60 on the festive collections. So one of my customers... Um, has bought the Tamanu collection, which is a beautiful collection. This is one of my favourite 
um, packaging out of the festive collections as well. I just think, I mean, every collection is stunning um, and every design on the front is different because it's, um, the artist has used ingredients that are in the products in that particular collection to create the artistry on the front. Um, and I love this one with the coconuts, the tamanu. It's just so pretty and I love like the wreath that they've done on the front. So this one contains the Rinse and Retreat body wash. So this is amazing for people with really sensitive skin if you suffer from um, eczema, psoriasis, anything like that, just really dry skin in general, just really sensitive skin in general. This is brilliant because it comes with a sensitive body wash, the Rinse and Retreat sensitive body wash, mini Tamanu balm, which is amazing for anything from, um, from scars to, um, dry skin to chapped lips. I recently used it a few weeks ago. I had a bit of a cold sore coming up um, and I used it on that and the cold sore didn't come to anything, which is amazing. You can use this on the Tamanu Balm on spots. I've used it on insect bites on Carl before. Um, it's just amazing. Like um, not open wounds, but any like scratches that are scabbed over to help the healing process um, speed up. Tamanu Balm is amazing. Um, it also comes with a Tamanu cream, so basically a moisturiser that you can use all over your body, which is, again is amazing for people with dry skin. Um, and then the Super Greens, the facial nutrient boost oil, which is beautiful, and that comes in a mini version in this collection. And then another collection that my customers have been loving are the skincare discovery kits. Now, if you haven't used Tropic before, but um, wanted to try them then the, the skincare discovery kits are so good for this because usually they tropic only have one skincare discovery kit um, but at the moment with the festive collections they have four so you can choose which one suits your skin type so we have a balanced one which is for oily blemish prone skin um, we have a nourish one which is what this one is which contains the smoothing cleanser with the bamboo cloth the Skin Dream, which is the nighttime cream, as I mentioned. The Elixir Omega Age Defying Oil, which is the orange one, which is amazing for obviously aging skin. Again, for like new mums even, you can put it on baby bumps. Um, it's so good, um, it's so good. And it really gives you a really lovely glow to your skin as well. Um, and then the Rainforest Dew, which is our hydration serum, which again is if your skin is in need of some nourishment or you know somebody that has really dry, dull skin, then the Nourish one is amazing. And then it comes in Glow as well, which you get the Glow Berry in that. Um, again, if lacklustre, um, people with pigmentation on their face, the Glow one is really good. And then the original one comes with our cleanser, toner, moisturizer, and rainforest dew, um, which is good for, if you're unsure of somebody's skin type, then the original is a safe bet and a lovely gift because as you can see again, a beautiful packaging. You take this sleeve off, you get a little poem in there and then you lift up, let me show you completely. You lift up this, and then inside you have your beautiful product. And then you even have, if somebody's maybe never used skincare before or never used Tropic before, they don't have to, you don't have to worry about explaining how to use it. Um, it literally says how they have to use it, what order they use the product, when they use the product on the inside of the packaging. So it's such a beautiful gift and really well priced as well um so i will leave links to to these two festive collections down below and also i'll leave a link to my online shop in case you wanted to check out any of the others and make the most of the offer that is on at the moment because i believe let me just double check but i believe it ends on the 13th of december so you won't have long when this video goes live um so this will go up on sunday the 12th and then i do think it is the 13th when the offer ends but let me make sure that's correct for you yeah midnight well 11 59 on the 13th of december the offer with the mini free mini skin dream and me free mini skin feast ends on the third midnight on the 13th and then <laughs> lots of other goodies in here 
I'll just show you a selection. So we've got Body Pebbles. This one is the Sweet Bellini. Smells incredible. We've got a skincare selection, which is basically our uh, cleanser, toner, moisturizer. Um, you get a free face mask. You get to choose um, a serum and then you get another treatment for free and with the skincare selections as well it's really good because they send you this little booklet that basically has all our serums what they're good for um when to enjoy them the face masks all of our products in this little booklet so you can refer to that um to help you use your product and also if you've got your eye on something else that you might want to use or purchase later down the line i've got so i've got serums in here i've got the ocean dive i've got the super green We've got some makeup in here. So I've got, what have I got here? I've got the mascara. I've got the Aluma in Latte. We have got a Rose Blossom Lip Glaze, a face mask spatula. Face mask and clear, this clear skin face mask. So many goodies in here. Oh, and what have we got under here? Oh, we've got another. I know these products aren't for me, but I still like love going through them just to remind myself what everyone's been ordering. Um, and then, what's this one? What's this one? So this is the signature collection, which is um, our Body Smooth, which is Tropic's founding product. The first product that Susie Mar ever made was the Body Smooth in a miniature jam jar, the Body Love, which is a beautiful moisturizer, and cleansing body pebble in citrus. And just opening this box up, oh, it just smells so beautiful so lemony oh it's just divine it's just so divine and using those products in your bathroom your bathroom smells incredible afterwards it really really does so that is another collection for somebody one of my lovely customers um but i will put all the details about the um offer in the description box down below and links to everything if you wanted to um, check any of the collections out um, and I, like I said I'll put a link to my online shop down there as well if you would like to shop and if you shop through me then as always I really appreciate it and I will message you personally to thank you um, but right now I am going to bag these up I've got these little gift bags for my customers but I will put their orders in and then we'll take Arnie for a walk and deliver them <laughs> still I we go all packaged up and ready to deliver this evening i have to admit i absolutely love this part i love um packaging receiving the product and putting them all in their different bags ready to take round to my customers obviously a lot of my customers don't live near me so i have their orders delivered straight to them and some of you are my customers as well so you'll know that they get delivered straight to your door which is amazing that they have that we have the option to do both get them delivered straight to your door and i get to deliver some to people that are local to me as well um but yeah i love this it just feels like christmas every day um that the tropic delivery comes package them up in these nice little pretty tropic bags and take them around to you guys so yeah that's what i'm i'm playing father christmas this evening before i get in my comfies and chill out with a christmas film for the rest of the night so yeah Let's go and do this and then we can get cosy on the sofa. So it's a little bit drizzly, but we're still delivering orders and walking the pooch, aren't we? Not yeah. Carl, I'm not referring to Carl as pooch. This one, he's with us too. We were just saying, we think our estate has like upped their game with their Christmas lights this year because, I mean, look behind me, look at those lights down there. It looks so good. Got some in front of me. Look all around i just love going for walks near christmas and just admiring everyone's outside displays my favorites are definitely the the ones that are all the same colors and my customer tash who we've just been to her house oh so good weren't they 
such nice lights. Um, she's even got lights outside in her tree and the front garden and her husband answered the door and he's like, I literally have to climb that tree to do those lights. And every year it nearly kills him, he said, but we told him it's worth it. So we are back home now from walking Arnie and delivering the tropic orders in our comfy clothes and we have the most Christmassy film on the telly. Do you recognize that music? Can you guess what film it is? To be honest, I can't believe I've left it this late to watch it mid-December and it's the first time I'm watching The Holiday. If you haven't seen it, you have to watch it. Even Carl loves it now, don't you? I do like it, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, we are just going to get snuggled on the sofa, watch this film and then get an early night because we're both pretty tired, aren't we? We are. A busy day, but a productive one and a really enjoyable one as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, just coming through our day with us. I hope it made you feel a little bit festive as it's definitely made me feel a bit festive. Has it you? A little bit, yeah. Um, just going for our, like an early Christmas dinner, wasn't it really? Yeah. And going into town with all the lights and decorations that we've got. And even we're just walking around the estate, seeing everybody's Christmas lights on was really nice. And now cozying up on the sofa with a really nice Christmas film is topping the day off nicely with our full tummies still. It's probably about four hours yeah about three o'clock yeah yeah about four <laughs> hours since we ate bless you right. and we are still pretty full um so yeah an early night is in order i think so if you liked it as always give the video a thumbs up hit subscribe if you haven't already um i really appreciate it it really supports my channel and I need to turn that noise off on my watch. <laughs> That's one thing, setting up a new phone. I've literally had to sign into everything again. I'm just doing all that now. Yeah. Like my watch has suddenly started making noises because I've had to sync my watch to a new phone. So we'll watch the Christmas film whilst sorting our phones out at the same time, I think. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your Sunday or if you're not watching this on the day that it goes live, whatever day it is. Hope you have a lovely one and I'll see you in the next video. Arnie's like, don't go, don't go. <laughs> Bye guys and see you in the next one.